10 Bloodiest Matches in WWE History Blood in WWE is about as rare as, well, a Brock Lesnar match, whereas nowadays blood is mostly outlawed in the company. The company used to employ blood heavily in matches to enhance storytelling. Here are 10 of the bloodiest matches in WWE history. Bret Hart vs Stone Cold, WrestleMania 13 Arguably the greatest match in WWE history, the submission match between Stone Cold and Bret Hart is a perfect example of how blood can enhance a story. In this classic bout, Hart whips Stone Cold into a steel guardrail causing Austin to bleed. Then the hitman put the rattlesnake in the sharpshooter and things really went up a notch. The image of a bloody Austin screaming in pain is the image of the Attitude Era and the amount of blood contributed to that. Ric Flair vs Triple H, Taboo Tuesday 2005 The former mentor and student faced off in a steel cage and it seemed like the game took a few pointers from Ric Flair on how to bleed. Ric Flair has a history in pro wrestling as being one of the most frequent bleeders and this match was no different. Triple H sent Flair crashing into the steel cage causing the nature boy to bleed. Not to be outdone though, Triple H would bleed later from the exact same steel. Hulk Hogan vs Vince McMahon, WrestleMania 19 at the time of this match, Vince McMahon was 57 years old and Hulk Hogan was 49. Most people their age enjoy playing with their grandchildren, not getting bloody in front of a sold out stadium. A match billed as 20 years in the making, Hogan and McMahon pulled out all the stops. Steel pipes, ladders and chairs were all used in this match, which only ended after the leg drop of doom. Only in pro wrestling does a leg drop do more harm than chair shots. TLC match Armageddon 2006 you know, the one where Joey Mercury got the cheapest, quickest, and most painful nose job ever? The blood in this match stems from exactly one hit, but it was just so insane that it earns its spot here. After Eminem set up a ladder for a superplex, the Hardy Boys reversed the tables and teeter-tottered a ladder smack into Joey Mercury's face. The blow destroyed his orbital bone and nose, leaving behind a pool of blood at ringside before being escorted from the match. Shawn Michaels vs The Undertaker, Bad Blood 1997 The first Hell in a Cell match in WWE history had to be violent in order to cement just how brutal this match can be. Leave it to Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker to accomplish this goal. The match was bloodless until the action spilled outside the cell. From there, The Undertaker slingshotted HBK into the cell. After hitting the steel, Michaels bled like a pig and the Phenom beat him up and down the entire cell. DX vs The McMahons and Big Show, Unforgiven 2006 The final battle in The McMahons DX feud, this match at Unforgiven 2006 had to be appropriately bloody in order to put a cap on this rivalry. To satisfy that condition, every competitor in this match ended up coated in their own opponent's blood. Shane McMahon's white shirt turned red, Big Show's backside was filled with blood, it looked like the most homoerotic horror film ever! Brock Lesnar vs The Undertaker, No Mercy 2002 Wrestling bookers should take a look at Brock Lesnar's 2002 run to see how you book